Salutations, everyone, and welcome to my For Glory Guide for Rob the Robots. And what can I say about this guy other than he has everything you want in a Smash Brothers fighter? I know he doesn't get a lot of love or attention because uh, the guy's known more as a toy, as an accessory to a video game console other than a beloved character. He's never even been more than a cameo in any video game that he's really appeared in and was kind of a bust commercially with the whole two games and gyromite and whatever the hell the other one was where he was being used as a toy, but regardless, don't sleep on him in Smash because the guy is even better than he was in Brawl. He's got everything you could want in a Smash fighter. He's got a lot of different kill moves, he's got projectiles, he's got uh, projectile protection, he's got uh, great aerials, he's got a meteor spike, uh, he's got great recovery. I mean, like the, he's he has all the tools. He's also like doesn't get killed easily. He's kind of heavy, um, but he's not like super slow. So that gives him the edge against Ganondorf, who uh, really has to rely on his power and not his speed. So Rob does not have much trouble against them, as well as projectile users. The side B will reflect projectiles, and it is it, it's really good. Also, you know, decent shield pressure. You don't want to throw it out too many times um, because it's rather predictable. Um, I mean, even if the opponent does shield it, they might miscount how many hits it takes, and you'll get them in the last one if you're lucky. Neutral special laser, the strength is indicated by the light on the top, uh, just like in Brawl, and it's useful as, you know, a kill option, not as much as it was in Brawl, it's definitely doesn't, they're, both of his projectiles, both the gyro and the laser, don't have the kill power that they had in Brawl, but they're much better for damage this time around. The gyro, you could throw out, pick up, throw, pick up, throw. It's really awesome. Also, good edge guarding tool. Fantastic. You could also use it to set up for your uh, down air spike with that gyro. Adjust the perfect amount of hits done and range. It's fantastic. Uh, the laser, uh, the uncharged version is is faster. Um, so it definitely has a lot of uses, um, even when it's not fully charged. But otherwise, it's it's a good it's a move that's so good. But he has so many other good moves that you often just forget to laser, so you can get in just some cheap, easy, quick damage with the laser. And just like that, I already got two games behind my belt because uh, Rob, uh, he's 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 not set to stun. He is set to kill. He has been programmed to body bitches, and that's just just what he does. Like I said, he does not uh, get killed easily. It's rather heavy. You can get to you know 200 percent. Uh, you know he's he's got really good recovery as well. His up special, um, you can aerial out of. You can also uh, kind of uh, nurse your up special uh, thruster jet. So you could start the up special and then cancel it out with an aerial and then keep going uh, a couple of more times if you need to change your trajectory or your speed or what have you. Uh, you know as a good mix up as well. People uh, might not see it coming and it's absolutely fantastic for edge guarding as well along with the gyro, the laser. His aerials are all fantastic. The down air is a meteor spike. It only spikes at the beginning of the animation so I wouldn't say it's the best spike in the game but it's definitely one of the best especially since it has a ginormous hitbox. You just have to hit it at the beginning of, uh, of, the, of the animation. And his up air I think is unequivocally the best up air in the game. It's outstanding his up air. Down throw up air is a true combo at low percents. Uh, otherwise, you can kill with up air at like 80%, uh, you know, if they're already in the air. And it's it's absolutely fantabulous. It's it's multi-hit. It's easy to hit. Uh, you can juggle bitches with it even if it doesn't kill. It's it's an amazing up gear. I would say the best in the game. Uh bar none really I don't think any other up airs really come all that close I'd say even better than Sonic's he doesn't have like the up special up air combo like Sonic does to ceiling bitches really quick but he'll kill just as early and at lower altitudes his forward air very very fast so you could uh, just hit a couple of those if you if uh, you need to on stage off stage good for racking up damage back air kind of slow not as uh, you know a big of a kill power as you want it to be but you can kill with it um you have uh, just look at the up air it's just absolutely amazing multi hit so it's like really easy to land because the last hit is that finisher that k gets the kill and here's another mewtwo game i don't know why so many people were playing mewtwo's when i was a uh, 
recording footage here, but uh, there's actually uh, there's quite a few matches that I had against Mewtwo. I'm not even showing them all. But uh, Rob, good matchup against Mewtwo because his attacks are faster. He's got that side B to throw out uh, the Shadow Ball right back at Mewtwo. And uh, Rob's just got he's got he's got really like no weaknesses. I would say if there's like the diff the things that would want change, I would want back air to either hit harder or be faster. But otherwise, it's still pretty decent. Uh, his forward and uh, back throw aren't amazing, but his down throw and up throw are absolutely amazing. So it definitely makes up for that. You don't need to have all your throws be awesome you only need a couple and uh up throw is your kill move it's your kill throw that'll kill like 138 140 ish or is it 148 i forget anyway it's it's your kill throw and down throw combos into up air very easily as you saw earlier there and uh th that's that's going to be your combo throw so and it's also just good damage on its own for grinding people's heads against the grindstone and uh, finishing up with some juggles with the up air, the up smash, kills, and it's a great juggling mechanism. Up tilt, great for juggling. Uh, his side tilt and down tilt are also really good pokes uh, and very, very fast, quick, easy damage. Uh, the gyro laser, good for racking up damage. So he's good at racking up damage. He's good. He's Oh, look at that side B reflection. Uh, Mewtwo just uh, not too wary of where he's going to throw that Shadow Ball, and I make him definitely pay for it. As far as recovering to the stage, she's not amazing, but you have that side special to uh, reflect projectiles as you saw just there, or to just hit an opponent trying to edge guard you real close to the ledge. You know, it'll back them off, especially with that final punch right there. And um, you could also throw out a laser or a gyro to cover your uh, your return to the stage, um, especially especially the gyro. It's a little easier to hit, and you know the laser. You have to since it comes from the head, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. So you know, you want to you know space out uh, space out your moves. Uh, you know a little carefully if you're going up against the opponent. That's a really good edge guarding game. But you have the gyro. It also stop people in their tracks on. A lot of uh, like side B attacks or rollouts, uh, Ike's forward special, any any of those forward specials that uh, have a lot of horizontal movement, the gyro will set them in their spots. Also a good zoning tool um, because if you know opponent runs up to it, they'll still get damage. They can grab it and use it just like you can, um, but uh, most people will be too afraid to do that. And if you can hit them with the gyro, you can easily run up, grab it again, hit them with a dash attack, throw it back at them. You could throw at uh, the gyro and hit someone off stage for an easy kill uh, at, you know kill percent hundred ish or if they're further out and definitely appreciate the good Jigglypuff uh, game inch right there by this guy so he gets the first stock which I, as you guys know as a Jigglypuff man I can definitely really appreciate a good Jigglypuff play when I can but uh, uh, obviously since Jigglypuff is so damn light and Rob just is an anti-air machine, especially with that up air, it's just easy to reset that stock and uh, turn the game back to neutral, as I did right there. Following up, the dash attack is fast and easy to hit. It's not going to do any great damage or combo abilities, but it's it'll get your opponents out. And there's the down spike with the down air, and that's more than enough to take care of a Jigglypuff at a low percent. So you got the gimping game. You got multiple moves that can kill. Um, up smash, I would say, is the best smash. Forward smash is okay. Not great on range, even though it does you know, come from the laser eyes. Uh, this is just the joke game, uh, so sorry to throw another Mewtwo out there, but this is just going to last just a couple more seconds before I can put this guy away. Um, uh, so yeah, laser kills, gyro can kill off stage, uh, up smash, fantastic, down smash, really good at punishing against rolls. It can also kill if you're close to the stage, down air kills, as you can see right there on uh, floaty characters especially like Mewtwo and Jigglypuff even if they have really good uh, recovery that down uh, air is just gonna get them too low under under the uh, under the map and they will not be able to recover so spikes early kills early he's got projectiles in both his gyro and laser to give you a lot of damage and he's, he's fantastic in the air neutral air uh, you know it's it's good for for an approach option or just spacing your opponent out. Forward air is fast. Up air is amazing. Just ungodly his up air and down air. Fantastic spike. Huge hitbox. And you know also obviously spike on stage if they're at super high percent. You can bounce them to death off of the ceiling. 
So, Rob, he's a killing machine. He's a robot, you know, programmed to kill body people, two stock people, throw things, shoot things, shoot things back at people, and uh, is a hardy little robot as well. So, thank you all for watching. Let me know who you would like to see in the future. Next week, we'll be covering Fox. Stay tuned till then, and I hope you all enjoyed.